Hi guys, it's Julie with Delicious Vegan Eats. Welcome back to my channel. So in today's episode, we are going to be making a butternut squash soup in the Instant Pot. So this is so easy, so quick, and it's perfect for the new fall season. So for this recipe, you're going to need one butternut squash that's been chopped, one cup of carrots that's been chopped, two cups of vegetable broth, two cups of almond milk, and about one teaspoon of sea salt with some pepper. You can also add salt and pepper into your soup after you've blended it for more additional seasoning. And you're also gonna need one cup of onions. And you want to first saute the onions in the Instant Pot. What you're gonna do is you're gonna press the saute button and when the Instant Pot says hot, it literally will say hot on there, then you're gonna throw your uh, onions in there and saute it for several minutes until it's lightly browned. After that, then you're gonna go ahead and throw all these ingredients in the Instant Pot. Okay, so my onions are currently sauteing and I just used water. I don't like to use oil in my recipes. I try to limit it at least as much as possible. So if you are wanting to reduce your fat intake and make the soup a little bit more light, you can just use regular water to saute your onions. So for the sake of time, I'm going to go ahead and throw my ingredients in there just to save a little time. We have my butternut squash, and then we're going to throw in the carrots. Followed by the liquids. And I actually use a little bit more butternut squash just because I'm making this for my husband and he likes to eat a lot of soup. So I might need to put in a little bit more liquid just to lightly cover the butternut squash and carrots. So we're almost there. I'm just going to add in a little bit more vegetable broth. So we're going to add in the rest of my vegetable broth. And I recommend getting a low sodium vegetable broth so that you can control how much salt you want in the soup. Okay, and I just need a little bit more water. So if this happens to you, just add some more liquid until everything is just lightly covered. And then finally, we're going to add the seasonings. If you want to make this a little bit more holiday-ish, you can add a little bit of cinnamon and nutmeg if you're wanting that type of festive holiday flavor. Okay, so that looks perfect. We're gonna go ahead and leave it like that. And then at this point, you wanna close the lid After the lid lid is placed, you want to make sure that this is set to seal. If you can see that. And then also, because it was on the saute function, you wanna actually turn this function off by pressing the cancel keep warm button. So you're gonna turn that off, and then you're gonna go up to the soup function and then after that, you will set this to 20 minutes. And I will show you the final product once it's been cooked. Okay, so once the soup is finished cooking, then you want to release the pressure by turning this knob to venting. And that's going to release all the steam, all the pressure, uh, inside the Instant Pot. You also have the option of just letting it release the pressure naturally by turning it off and letting it sit there for a while and that way you don't have to worry about steam shooting out. So that's another option for you guys. 
Once the soup is cooked, then you're going to want to blend up the soup either in a high-speed blender or with an immersion blender. You can take the immersion blender and just blend it up inside. And that's it. That's how easy it is. So once everything is cooked, I will blend it up and show you guys the final product. Okay, so I just finished blending my soup. And this is the final product. It's very thick and creamy. Looks so delicious. Okay, you guys, we're going to go ahead and give this a taste test. Mm, this is so delicious and it is so hearty. This is perfect for the fall season. The carrots add a nice light sweet flavor to it. It's nice and thick. So this is perfect again for the new season. Please give this recipe a try. If you like the recipe, please click like down below. If you also would like to receive future notifications on my upcoming videos on delicious vegan recipes, please subscribe to my channel. You can also find me on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, and Pinterest, all at Delicious Vegan Eats. For delicious recipes like this, you can also check out my recipe book, Deliciously Plant-Based. And I will leave the link to this book as well down below. And this recipe actually comes from my book. So please check it out. Thank you guys again for watching. And I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.